Hey folks, I'm Philippi, and welcome back to Dredge. We are here in this Lovecraftian fishing game, off in this monkey-ridden island chain out here with something big and tentacly, 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 is that a word? Tentacly? I think so. Uh, somewhere in the middle of the destroyed research station. We've been helping this researcher with her projects, but she's asked us to go pick up a prototype. So let's go and get that done and sell off some stuff in our hold along the way. Uh, let's lower our... Is that out? I can't, I can't remember which way it's in now. This thing down. This is in? This is in. Here we go. There's a research lab over there. I'm just gonna sail right across the tingle here. Like I don't care. There's the weirdness. I'm not sure about sailing over that. Let's pop into here. Uh, laboratory. The laboratory's in ruins. We saw this before. We want to inspect the equipment table. After some searching, you find the prototype parts that the researcher needs to assemble in the sampling thing. Awesome. Put that there. Prototype parts on board. What do you want to look? I don't. I want to leave. I think the generator, though. The old generator sputters and ticks over. Okay. Let's leave. Before something nasty happens, we'll come around this corner here and we'll see what this thing is. We suddenly got nasty music, but we do. Maybe it's just mysterious music? I don't know. It's scaring me a little, whatever it is. The research part, that's good. Let's go towards getting that super rod. Let's uh, pick up a few of these while we're at it. head over to the um, fish merchant uh, lady. Oh, we can check what's in here, too. There we go. A spiny lobster. Uh, I don't know how the hell I'm going to fit you in there. Can do that. Really doesn't help that much. Four days remaining, so we're pretty good. Keep going. Uh, I can't pick you up. Bring in our little trawler guy. Stop. And uh, go to the fish market. Sell off all these fish. Cool. Quite a bit of money. Stick that in our. Bay. We'll hold on to that for now. Our net doesn't have anything here. We can need to repair it, I guess. Oh, I guess we can't do that with the fish net. Hold on. It's a shipyard mm. thing. Let's uh, repair. I think I repaired my fish thing. If I go to shipyard, mm. and I do 
is. How much is this? 36 bucks. That's good. And here, how much do I have? Three research. I need four for the thing. Alright. No problem. Let's head out because we're not crazy yet. Stick our little trawler down. Let's head around the outside here. That's a scary zone, I don't know about that. loose debris. And explosives. Thank you. What's this? Perfect. Boom. More loose debris. Don't have another explosive, so we can't go that way. I think we're okay. Um, I don't head over that way, which I'm not going to. What was this? There's a skinny brown dog leaping around on the shallows. Occasionally it lunges for the water, snapping at it. Some small silvery fish. This technique isn't effective. Let's embark. You jump off the boat uh, into the high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Throw some fish towards the dog. He throws some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces and splash and swall swallows seawater. Off of the dog. The dog waves his tail briefly, but doesn't move. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get near, the dog backs up a little and sits. Throw some fish. You throw some scraps towards the dog, which land on the sand. The dog eats them, along with a mouthful of sand. All. Make soft, encouraging noises as the dog approaches and stops just out of your reach. Slowly approach. As you move close to the dog, it seems startled and then runs back up the shoreline. Hold out some fish in your hand. You hold out some scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly but soon begins licking at them. At the dog. As you reach out, gently pat the dog, its eyes follow your hand. It seems to understand that you're not a threat. As you make your way back towards the boat, as you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head strongly. Don't let it follow me. As you continue, this time the dog alongside, the tail wagging its hard as it beats into the water at the froth beneath it. When you get onto the boat, you turn around and pull up the dog. Well, I know exactly where that dog's gonna go. You lift the dog onto the dock of the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball. Looking up at you, maybe you could find this dog a more permanent Oh, I know exactly where to send that dog. Grab a little one more of these. I think I all I, all I needed. Okay, there we go. Hang that there. Off we go. Be hanging around here too much. Fish in the fish thing. What's the uh... something else? It's my crab pot. You do have stuff in you. Perfect. Keep going. Crash into the wall, please. Am I alone out here? Looks like it. Okay. Let's see if I can grab whatever this is. Oh, this is these special guys, and I don't think I can fit two. No, I cannot. I don't know more of that. Definitely not sticking around for whatever the hell that 
that is. I know they can be profitable. We can't sell you, right? No. Okay. Sell the two fish. These in storage. Let's have a uh, short nap until morning. And then let's head off and talk to uh, the lady in the... Um, Sandcastle, I think. I'm not 100% sure where that is. Is my crab bot? Oh, I guess it is. I think it's over here, actually. What's this? More treasure. All right. Okay. Oh, here it is. This is what? More wood. I don't think I need more wood. Regular fish. Big fish over there, which I don't think I can get. Let's hold this up for now. And uh, let's stick you here. There we go. Let's talk to the researcher. Oh, hello again. What do you need? Uh, this dog needs a home. Do you want it? Dog? Uh, oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over the researcher. She crouches down and pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yes, you should take the dog. Yes, oh, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. You can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to bretch. Its stomach heaving, seconds later, it vomits out a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, the, that's interesting. I suppose it's yours, if you want it. Okay, sapphire ring. I can clean up the rest, don't worry about it. Researcher? I have that prototype part for you. Excellent, let me assemble the device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a slow, but you uh, may be able to uh, make some improvements. What to do with this yet? That's just a bissel. Let's just stick it in storage for now. Now I've developed the repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high pitched noises. It should deter the creature from attacking or encourage it. I'm not sure. Connect it to the research outpost generator and you'll have to return to uh, re engage everything every few hours. But on the other hand, that is completely automated. Cool. Great. Now take a look at lists of specimens. Remember, you want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of them. Okay, we've got the anglerfish, the giant uh, amphipod, the loose jaw, and the snailfish. Cool. I don't have any of them. I'll be going now. Excellent. Let's check out our stuff over here. We got one thing in our net. Just a plain old red snapper. And uh, we got some stuff in our encyclopedia. We did get the spiny lobster. Denift. We got both kinds of the octopus. That's good. Only one kind of a grouper, though. Okay. Well, let's head out. I'm not sure exactly where I want to go now. What I'd really like is some, uh... Some 
metal parts, I think, or is it cloth I need? I think it's metal I need. This is wood, right? Yeah. Need more wood. Is this again? Oh, that's the uh, the fisherman lady. Gotcha. Another one of these crabs. Good to know. I guess we can go install the uh, big item here. This is another ring. This is a place that I think a jeweler's ship got knocked over. It's an earring, so basically. Merchant lady. It's more octopus. Those guys are so big, I don't want to capture them. Have I seen these before? I think I have. Market. Sell off all those fish. Thank you. I'll put these in my hold. And hold on to. Sold stuff in my net. Storage is getting a little full. I don't have anywhere to put the wood yet. I don't have access because I need just metal and cloth. Sure, where to get what I need. Need at least, I think I need two more of these research parts. I'm gonna hold on to these glasses. A fire ring, opal ring, suction ring, and another sapphire ring. Crazy that we have so many. And a sampling device. Let's find, I suppose. 
this. Like being over this weird tentacle thing. Let's not stay over there. It's different fish than what I normally have. That's a thing. into the research station. Stick that piece on the generator. Small object rolls out from underneath the generator. Thank you. Activate the machine. it in a moment. Let's I find out where the fish are that I need to. Oh. Got the grouper. Bag of the balloons. Okay. It's just random equipment. Metal. I still do need cloth, but I did need metal. Let's grab you. Oh, I can grab another one. Even better. I think I just needed two. Excellent. Now, if I can find some cloth, that would be wonderful. Fish. Looks like there's something on the shore here. There's some boxes scattered haphazardly on the shore. Inside. 100% I want that. 100% I want that. 100% I want whatever the hell that is. And I'll leave the wood because I don't need it. Let's pull that up. Let's work our way back over. Do the fish person, or even the, uh, the tower. Well, that's that stone. We'll leave. Tower is over there. Let's go to the fish lady. Okay, fish market. Let's sell. I'll sell you. I think that's all I caught there. Sell our next stuff. Okay. That in our cargo. That, this, that, and this. And let's uh, talk to the floating dock. You installed. You install plus three rod spaces, excellent. And then the new hall requires one of those, which is now here, storage. Two of these, which I also have. Four wood, 
Perfect. I desperately need now is cloth. I just need three cloth. Love it. Reorganize this a little bit. A little nicer looking. Sixer, and this is a sixer. Perfect. Now this new rod is a uh, five. It does do everything. It eliminates my trawling because I can't do trawling at abyssal at the same time, which is unfortunate. Right now we can do dredge, abyssal, and Postal. Let's take a look at our mission. First off, let's read our message. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run out from some lines here, and they are uh, ineligible. While well, most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew, and such tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose uh, to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down at the open casket and turned to me his eyes, in his eyes I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Okay. Scary. Now we also got the anglerfish, super. Let's take a look at our pursuits. We want to collect samples. And one anglerfish, one stoplight loose jaw, and one giant amphipod and a snailfish. Let's see if we can figure out how to find those. And these guys I'm not sure how to get either. Encyclopedia. Oh, it's not going to tell me how to get these here. This is the snailfish. I need Hadal. I don't have Hadal. Also had all. This one is abyssal, so I need the rod and the stellar basin. Okay, well, let's see if we can find that as we travel out to uh we're not crazy enough. I can travel out to the lady. Let's do that real quick. Let's see if we can find of those fish. Not it. It's a storm. This just wood. It is. Okay. Good. Bad that I don't have my light on. Let's get her the one fish. It's done. 
So it needs Hadal and it needs the hook. This is the pistol and it needs the hook. And this is Hadal and it needs the hook. Okay. We're getting a little crazy here, so let's have a nap. Perfect. And we'll call that the end of the episode. Made quite a bit of progress, managed to install the item, so we'll probably have to activate it um, at some point soon. Now we're going to have to upgrade a rod somehow too, and I'm not quite entirely sure how to do that. Looks like it's this. Yeah, we need the bottomless line for that. Or this, which does coastal shallow and oceanic the harvesting platform. That is a sixer. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Hmm. You do abyssal head all and oceanic. That pretty much everything, right? No, not mangrove or volcanic. I see. Anyhow, we'll look at this next time, figure it out. We definitely need this one so we can get the Hadal fish we need. But uh, beyond that, um, and we'll get a little faster for fishing the abyssal stuff too. Um, Beyond that, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. We need one more part. I don't have any research parts, so maybe we can find some. Anyhow, hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day.